Hi guys, I'm back because I wanted to do um, a proper review on the NYX shadows because I've had a chance now to play with them and to use them a bit and I've got two different eyes right now so don't mind that. I just wanted to, um, I'll be showing you in the later in the video because this is all NYX shadows so I can show you, you know, the differences and stuff. So um, I have a couple of things that I wanted to say. Um, I made a little list of things that I want to talk about. So hopefully I'll get through them all. Um, if you have not watched my haul video, I suggest you do that because I won't be covering you know all the shadows that I bought. I bought six different ones, um, and I noticed that the the pigments are not e all equally as good. Um, what I found is that some of them are more pigmented and some are kind of hard to work with. The one that I'm really liking is Sunrise, which is this red shade. You can see it on this eye. It's this red part and it came out really intense. The pigmentation in that one was really good. Also the one that I thought yesterday was not as good, the, the lime juice, which is here the on the lid, it's actually quite good. Um, I didn't think it was actually going to be that pigmented and it, it is pretty pigmented. Um, the ones that yesterday I thought were going to be good by doing the swatches, actually I had a harder time working with them. I've got them on this eye right now and as you can see um, the color payoff is not as strong. I mean these are lighter colors so of course it's not going to look as strong as these ones but I had a harder time getting these to show up. Um, this is the antique gold and apricot mousse that I'm wearing. Um, also the, what I found is that you really, to get these shadows to work good, you have to pack them on. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't use a brush and like drag across because it just didn't really stick. I had to really, you know, pack it on using a brush or you could use like a, one of those sponge tip applicators if you want to just really put on a lot. Um, the neutral, or the the white, which is a matte shadow, I actually, you know, yesterday I thought it was going to be chalky, but I'm actually surprised because I really like it. Um, it's it's really easy to work with and it's probably one of the better matte shadows I've tried. I don't have a lot of mattes, so I'm actually trying to get more. So the only thing is on the website that's really stupid about NYX is that they don't list what finish each eyeshadow is. They only show the color. So some of them, you know, are sparkly, some of them are just shimmery, um, some of them are mattes, and you don't know what you're getting. So actually, if you have matte NYX shadows, please list them in the comments box because I really want to get some more. And, you know, if you have any that you think are really good, um, especially browns or any neutral colors or well any matte shadows that you have from NYX that you like please list them in the comment box because I do want to get some more and I just don't know which one which ones are matte and which are sparkly so the matte ones I actually liked um, what else was I gonna say oh you definitely need an eyeshadow base for these I've been using Art Deco which is a German product um, I don't think you can get it in North America. It, it's like a cream. kind of reminds me of like... Well, actually, I, I don't know what it reminds me of because I've never used like a product that looks like this. It comes in a little pot and this one works quite well with it. You need a, a base that's a bit sticky, so I would not recommend the MAC paints. Even though I like the MAC paints, I would not recommend them for the NYX shadows because they... Um, they don't dry, they dry down and then they're not sticky. What you could also use is a shade stick from MAC or maybe a cream color base um, or maybe the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I haven't used that one but I've heard that it's kind of sticky as well because you do need something that is going to help the shadow adhere because, and that brings me to the next point, is that these, shadow, these shadows, although some of them are very like good, um, they have they're kind of powdery. So what that means is that when 
when you get your brush and you, you know go across it to load up the color on the bristles you get a lot of shadow that starts falling and that starts just collecting in on the eyeshadow thing and that also means that um, I get quite a bit of fallout with these so you definitely either want to put like powder underneath or maybe you know do your eyes before you your foundation because I've noticed with these um, NYX shadows I get more fallout than I would with the MAC ones. I mean the MAC ones are, pow are a bit powdery as well depending on you know what one you're using but I definitely th thought that the NYX one was much more powdery. Um, it's not necessarily bad it's just like a different way. Now what I wanted to show you also is the different in pigmentation. My favorite finish on in the MAC shadows is the Velux Pearls because they're extremely pigmented and I just want to compare the Velux Pearl um, Woodwinked which I think is one of the best shadows that Max makes and the Antique Gold from yeah Antique Gold from NYX. So I've just put them on my hand I don't know if you, on my finger I don't know if you can see it very good it's kinda hard to get it to focus um, this is the MAC in the Velux Pearl finish and this is the NYX in the Antique Gold. This one from MAC, I mean it's a bit darker but if you can um, if you can see that this one is like has more intensity. So like the NYX ones are good but definitely you know if you want a shadow that's just like BAM you know that just pops right out on the first go I would still prefer the MAC Velux Pearls. I just think they're better. Um, the NYX ones are pretty good. I mean, for the price, I'm pretty impressed. Especially if you don't have like a lot of money to spend on makeup and you're, or you're just getting started and you just want to have like a bunch of different colors. And I definitely, you know, would recommend maybe getting a few from NYX. Um, I think that maybe the ones that are like the stronger colored ones are probably better than the neutrals. Like so far I did, haven't really liked the neutrals as much. Also about the lip glosses, um, I really don't like the taste. So I mean they're they're really pigmented. Um, the color goes on really strong. The sparkling is not that much because I don't like really sparkly glosses. I have just the, the normal ones. Um, they're just called lip gloss with mega shine. Um, yeah, they're really pigmented and stuff. I just don't like the taste. Um, they just taste kind of like plasticky or something. Um, the smell is also not very good. So I might try maybe one more of the lip glosses, but so far I'm not really that impressed with the lip glosses. The eyeshadows are pretty good. I might try a few more. Um, I might try some other products from NYX, like the eyeliners and stuff, but um, the glosses I think I've had enough for now. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you know, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. Um, I definitely think these these eyeshadows are really good value for people who maybe don't have a lot of money or who don't want to spend, you know, a lot of money on expensive makeup stuff or expensive brands. Um, then, you know, I definitely recommend, you know, picking up a couple. Especially if you want lots of fun colors, like lots of you know strong bright colors, and you don't want to you don't want to spend a lot on Mac because you might not use them as much. Then I definitely think that NYX is a good purchase. Um, however, you know if you're used to the quality of Mac and you use a lot of Mac shadows, um, I mean these are just different. They're not necessarily worse. I just think that the consistency of the quality is maybe not. Um, as good and also the website is really crappy so you don't really know what you're getting. You have to do a lot of research before of, of swatches and stuff and you don't know if the shadows that you ordered if they're matte, if they're shimmery, if they're sparkly and so that I think is really poor service. I think they should just list you know matte or whatever. Um, but overall I'm pretty happy with them. I'm probably gonna place another order just to you know try out some more. Um, I definitely will be using these shadows. Um, I like them, some of them, some of them I, don't, I like less. 
So yeah, that's about it for my review. Um, I hope you do enjoy it, the shadows if you order them. And if you do have any mattes that you really love, please let me know. Okay, bye.